Have you ever wondered why your legs feel weaker as you get older? Why simple tasks like climbing stairs, getting up from a chair, or walking for long periods suddenly feel harder? It's not just aging, there's a real biological reason behind it, and the good news is science shows you can reverse much of this weakness naturally. After 60, your body goes through three powerful changes that silently rob your legs of strength. First, your muscle fibers shrink due to a process called sarcopenia. It begins around age 40, but accelerates after 60, leading to loss of power and stability. After the age of 60, many people begin to notice something subtle, yet deeply unsettling. Climbing stairs feels heavier. Standing up from a chair takes more effort. The legs that once carried you effortlessly through life now tremble, tire easily, and sometimes even give way. You tell yourself it's just aging. But what if it's not just time stealing your strength? What if it's something happening inside your body, something you can fight back against? Scientists call it sarcopenia, the silent erosion of muscle mass and power that begins long before most people realize. By the time you turn 60, your body may have already lost up to 30% of its muscle fibers. These fibers, once strong and active, start to shrink, replaced by fat and connective tissue. Your legs, the foundation of your independence, slowly weaken. The loss doesn't happen overnight. It's a quiet, gradual fading that most ignore until one day they can no longer walk as far, climb as high, or rise as easily. But the story goes deeper. Deep within your leg muscles, millions of tiny engines known as mitochondria generate the energy your cells need to contract, move, and stabilize. When you're young, these mitochondria are vibrant, active, and abundant. But with age, their numbers drop, their efficiency declines, and their power flickers like dying embers. Each step you take requires energy, and when that energy runs low, your legs begin to feel heavy, tired, and unstable. Blood flow plays a crucial role too. The arteries that once pumped oxygen-rich blood into your leg muscles start to stiffen with age. Plaque builds up, vessels lose elasticity, and circulation slows. Imagine your muscles gasping for oxygen, struggling to perform simple tasks. Without enough oxygen and nutrients, muscle fibers starve. The result fatigue, weakness, and the slow fading of your strength, and that's not all. Hormones, your body's natural growth signals decline with age. Testosterone growth hormone and IGF-1, all vital for maintaining muscle mass, drop significantly after 50. Without these chemical messengers, your body struggles to build and repair the tissues that keep you strong. Each year, the imbalance grows and the loss accelerates. By your 60s, the body's natural repair mechanisms begin to falter, leaving your legs vulnerable. But here's the part that few people talk about, the role of inflammation. As you age, chronic low-grade inflammation, known as inflammaging, spreads through your body. It silently damages muscle cells, disrupts mitochondrial function, and interferes with blood flow. This invisible fire consumes your energy and weakens your strength from within. Studies show that people with higher inflammatory markers experience faster muscle loss and poorer mobility. It's not just time. It's your body's own internal storm eating away at your vitality. Add to that another hidden factor, insulin resistance. As metabolism slows and diets become less balanced, cells become less sensitive to insulin. This makes it harder for your muscles to absorb glucose, their main source of fuel. Without fuel, even the strongest muscles begin to falter. The legs, the largest muscles in your body, suffer the most, leaving you tired, unsteady, and dependent on support. It's a devastating cycle. Weak muscles lead to less movement. Less movement causes further muscle loss. Each day of inactivity compounds the decline. And over time, this spiral leads to falls, fractures, and loss of independence, the very things that steal joy and freedom in later life. The tragedy is that most people never realize what's happening until it's too late. But the truth is, this decline is not inevitable. Studies from leading universities like Harvard, Stanford, and the National Institute on Aging have revealed that muscle tissue is remarkably adaptable, even in your 70s or 80s. When given the right signals, your body can regenerate new muscle fibers, restore blood vessel flexibility, and spark new mitochondrial growth. The key is understanding the cause and taking action before the damage becomes irreversible. Doctors now understand that muscle loss after 60 is not a sign of weakness, it's a sign of neglect. It's the body's cry for better care, better fuel, and better circulation. In fact, research shows that people who maintain strong muscles have a 50% lower risk of chronic diseases, live longer, and enjoy better brain health. Muscles aren't just for movement. They are powerful organs that release healing molecules, improve metabolism, and keep your entire body young. So when your legs start to feel weak, don't dismiss it as just age. It's your body sending a signal that something deeper is happening. It's a warning that your muscles, your blood flow, and your mitochondria need attention. Every moment you ignore that signal, you allow decline to accelerate. But every small step you take to support your muscles through the right foods, movement, and habits can reverse years of damage. 
Picture your leg muscles as living tissue waiting to be reawakened. They respond to nutrients, to oxygen, to the chemical signals your body produces when you eat the right foods and move with purpose. Each bite of nutrient-rich food, each moment of movement, sends a message to your cells, grow stronger, build energy, restore balance. Science has proven it's never too late. In fact, even people in their 80s can gain new muscle mass in just weeks with the right approach. You see, weakness after 60 isn't destiny. It's a call to action, a message from within reminding you that strength is not lost, only dormant. The blood vessels can reopen, the mitochondria can reignite, the muscles can rebuild. You just need to give your body what it's been missing, nourishment, movement, and care. Because your legs are more than limbs, they are your foundation. They carry your dreams, your independence, your ability to live fully. And the science is clear you have the power to keep them strong. Don't let silent processes steal your strength. The battle is happening inside your body, but with knowledge and action, victory is within reach. So when you feel your legs weaken, remember it's not age defeating you. It's biology calling you to fight back with the tools nature gave you. Feed your muscles, move your body, reignite your energy. Because strength is not a memory, it's a choice you can make today. What if the secret to rebuilding your leg strength after 60 isn't found in a pill, a supplement, or a hospital, but sitting quietly in your kitchen inside the foods you choose each day? For decades, we've been told that weakness is inevitable with age, but new science reveals something far more hopeful. The body is not a machine that simply wears out. It's a living system designed to renew itself if you feed it the signals it understands, and those signals come from food, real food, the kind that doesn't just fill your stomach but talks directly to your DNA, your blood vessels, your muscles, and your mitochondria, the tiny powerhouses inside every cell that fuel your strength. Let's start with something humble, the beat, often overlooked yet extraordinary. Inside every beat is a natural molecule called nitrate. When you eat it, your body transforms it into nitric oxide, a chemical messenger that tells your blood vessels to relax and open wide. This means more oxygen, more nutrients, more life flowing into your leg muscles. In a study published in the Journal of Applied Physiology, older adults who drank beet juice daily improved their endurance by nearly 20%. Just one glass gave their muscles the energy to go farther, last longer, and feel stronger. Imagine that, a simple route reversing years of decline by unlocking your body's natural circulation. Next, picture a piece of wild salmon, soft, pink, rich with omega-3 fatty acids and complete protein. This is not just food, it's medicine for your muscles. In a landmark study from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, researchers discovered that omega-3s can amplify the body's muscle, building signals by up to 30%. They help your cells synthesize new protein, reduce inflammation, and preserve muscle fibers that aging tries to destroy. Every bite of salmon tells your muscles to rebuild, repair, and renew. Two servings a week can transform frailty into resilience. Then, there's spinach the quiet powerhouse of the plant world, loaded with plant-based nitrates and antioxidants, spinach doesn't just strengthen your muscles. It fuels the mitochondria, the tiny engines that generate your energy. Scientists at the Karolinska Institute found that spinach enhanced muscle efficiency, allowing cells to produce more energy with less effort. That means less fatigue, more stamina, and stronger legs that carry you farther. A handful in your morning omelet or green smoothie becomes a daily signal to your body rise, move, thrive. And let's not forget lentils, the unsung hero of longevity. For centuries, they've sustained civilizations with their rich protein, iron, and minerals. As you age, your muscles crave amino acids to rebuild tissue, and your blood needs iron to carry oxygen. Lentils provide both in perfect balance. They stabilize blood sugar, fight inflammation, and feed your muscles with steady energy. In cultures where lentils are a daily staple, muscle decline is slower, mobility lasts longer, and strength remains deep into old age. Replace refined carbs with a bowl of lentils three times a week, and you're not just eating, you're rebuilding the foundation of your body. And finally, the jewel of the plant kingdom, the blueberry, tiny but bursting with anthocyanins, powerful compounds that protect your cells from oxidative stress, the very damage that accelerates aging. Research from the Journal of Gerontology found that older adults who ate blueberries daily showed measurable improvements in leg strength and walking speed. These dark berries activate genes that defend mitochondria, reduce inflammation, and even improve brain muscle communication. A handful each day and you're fueling your body's defense system, rewiring the way your muscles age. Together, these foods form a powerful prescription, one nature designed long before medicine ever existed. Each bite delivers biochemical messages that awaken your body's dormant repair systems. Nitric oxide expands your blood flow. Omega-3s rebuild muscle fibers. Nitrates supercharge your mitochondria. Proteins and minerals from lentils restore balance. 
Antioxidants from blueberries defend against decay. They don't just nourish, they transform. Science now tells us that food is more than calories. It's information, it speaks to your DNA, switches genes on and off, turns inflammation down and strength up. When you eat the right foods, you send your body a signal it's time to rebuild. Studies from Harvard and Stanford show that diet alone can reverse markers of aging in as little as eight weeks. Imagine what months or years of consistent nourishment can do for your legs, your mobility, your life. But here's the truth, the modern diet is working against you. Processed foods, refined sugars, and artificial fats silence your body's natural signals. They constrict blood vessels, inflame muscles, and shut down mitochondria. It's no wonder so many people after 60 feel drained, unstable, and weak. The body is starving, not for calories, but for nutrients that heal. You cannot build strength on empty fuel. You cannot restore life with lifeless food. When you replace the junk with what nature intended, everything changes. Your blood vessels soften and open, your mitochondria awaken, your muscles begin to hum with energy again. Movement becomes easier, balanced, steadier, confident, stronger. You begin to feel not just younger, but alive again. Every meal becomes an act of medicine. Every bite, a vote for strength. You don't need exotic superfoods or expensive supplements. The power lies in simple choices repeated daily. Roast beets for dinner. Grill salmon twice a week. Blend spinach into your morning smoothie. Cook lentils as a hearty soup. Sprinkle blueberries over your oats. These aren't just recipes, they're rituals of renewal. Each meal whispers to your body, reminding it of the strength it once had and still holds within. And here's the most astonishing part, your body listens. It responds, it heals. Even in your 70s, even in your 80s, new muscle fibers can grow, blood vessels can regenerate, mitochondria can multiply. The science is clear, it's never too late. Food is not just sustenance, it is the language of life. Speak it fluently and your body will answer. So the next time you sit down to eat, remember, you are not just feeding hunger, you are feeding strength, you are rebuilding what time tried to take away, you are reminding your body of the blueprint it was born with, one designed for vitality, endurance, and power. The foods you choose today can rewrite the story of your tomorrow, and the choice begins now. You can eat the healthiest foods in the world, beets that open your blood vessels, salmon that rebuilds your muscles, spinach that fuels your mitochondria. But without movement, those nutrients have nowhere to go. They remain silent potential, waiting for a signal. That signal is movement. When you move your body even gently, you ignite ancient biological systems designed to rebuild, repair, and renew. It's not about pushing yourself to exhaustion. It's about sending your body the message it's been waiting for. You are still alive, you are still strong, and you still need power. Inside every muscle fiber are sensors that respond only to movement. When you lift your leg, take a step, or rise from a chair, those sensors release chemical signals that tell your body to build new muscle, create more mitochondria, and strengthen your bones. Without movement, those signals stay silent. Studies from the National Institute on Aging show that after just two weeks of complete inactivity, older adults can lose up to 30% of their muscle strength. Two weeks, that's all it takes for strength to fade, balance to falter, and fatigue to set in. But the reverse is also true with even small, consistent movement. The body begins to repair what's been lost. Walking is one of the most powerful medicines on earth. It increases circulation, delivering oxygen, rich blood to the legs, the heart, and the brain. It stimulates the release of nitric oxide, the same compound triggered by beets, widening your arteries and feeding your muscles. A study published in the Journal of the American Geriatric Society found that older adults who walked at least 30 minutes a day cut their risk of mobility loss by nearly 50%. 30 minutes, not a marathon, not a gym membership, just the simple act of walking. But walking alone isn't enough. To truly rebuild strength, you must challenge your muscles even gently. Resistance training, using your own body weight, bands, or light dumbbells, tells your body, I still need these muscles. Each time you perform a squat, rise from a chair, or press your legs against resistance, you send a powerful signal to your muscle fibers to grow. Scientists call this mechanical loading, and it's the most direct way to reverse sarcopenia, the age-related loss of muscle. A landmark study in the Journal of Gerontology showed that people in their 70s and 80s gained new muscle mass and doubled their leg strength in just 12 weeks of light resistance training. The secret lies in synergy, the marriage of nutrition and movement. When you consume protein-rich foods like salmon or lentils after exercise, your muscles become more sensitive to those nutrients. It's as if movement unlocks the door and food walks through it. Research from McMaster University revealed that seniors who combined resistance exercise with high quality protein saw up to 60% greater muscle gains than those who relied on diet alone. Without movement, nutrients have no direction. With it, they become fuel for renewal. 
Even at the cellular level, movement transforms everything. Exercise triggers mitochondrial biogenesis, the creation of new mitochondria. These are the energy factories that power your legs, your heart, your brain. The more you move, the more mitochondria you build, the more energy you produce, and the stronger you feel. It's a virtuous cycle. Movement builds energy, and energy makes movement easier. In contrast, inactivity leads to mitochondrial decay, the slow dimming of your body's internal power source, Balance and coordination improve too. Simple exercises like standing on one foot, gentle yoga poses, or rising slowly from a chair retrain your nervous system. They sharpen your reflexes, reduce the risk of falls, and restore confidence. Every time you challenge your balance, your brain rewires itself, creating new neural connections that keep you steady and agile. It's not just your muscles that grow stronger, your mind does too. And don't underestimate the emotional power of movement. Studies show that physical activity triggers the release of endorphins, dopamine, and serotonin, brain chemicals that lift mood, sharpen focus, and fight depression. Many older adults who start gentle exercise report not only stronger legs, but also clearer thinking, better sleep, and a deeper sense of vitality. It's as if the act of moving reawakens the spirit. But here's the truth that too many people ignore muscle is more than strength. It's a life-preserving organ. It regulates blood sugar, supports your immune system, and protects you from chronic disease. Every step you take, every repetition you perform, is an investment in your longevity. People with greater muscle mass have lower rates of heart disease, diabetes, and even dementia. Movement is not optional. It's the foundation of healthy age, and the beauty is that it's never too late. In one remarkable study from Tufts University, frail nursing home residents in their 90s began light strength training three times a week. Within two months, they doubled their walking speed, tripled their leg strength, and regained independence they thought was lost forever. Age was not the barrier. Inaction was, the human body never forgets how to grow. It simply waits for you to remind it. So imagine this, you start your day with a short walk, your blood flowing, your legs awakening. Later, you perform gentle squats or push against a resistance band, your muscles firing, your balance steadying. Then you sit down to a meal of salmon and lentils, spinach and beets, blueberries for dessert. The nutrients rush into your bloodstream guided by the signals movement has created. They rebuild muscle fibers, expand blood vessels, and charge your mitochondria with new energy. You begin to feel stronger, more alive, more capable than you have in years. This is how the body heals, not with one magic pill, but through the rhythm of nourishment and motion repeated day after day. Every meal, every movement is a message I choose strength, I choose life. And the body responds faithfully, powerfully, beautifully. Weakness after 60 is not destiny, it's a call to action. You hold the keys in your hands, the food on your plate, the steps you take, the movements you make. Together, they awaken the ancient wisdom coded in your cells, the blueprint of resilience you were born with. Feed your body, move your body, trust your body. It remembers how to be strong, it's waiting for you to begin. 